Welcome back to the ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's Iceberg. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound like I, s I sipped a cup of lean before filming. Anyways, this video will cover layers 5 and 6, so sit back, grab a drink, grab some popcorn I guess, relax, and enjoy part 3 of the ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's Iceberg Explain. FNAF 1 was meant to be Scott's last game. This refers to when Scott was being criticized for his characters in Chipper and Son's Lumber Company, which looked like animatronics. Demotivated, he made a horror game, a horror game and gained lots of success, and this is why he decided not to quit. FNAF World Enemies on the Desk. This refers to a 1 in 10,000 chance when you flip the monitor down, you can see FNAF World Enemies on the Desk in UCN. The enemies that appear are Tangle, White Rabbit, and Bounce Pop. Ballora looking through the window. This is an unused image in the game files of Ballora looking through the window with her face plates lifted up. This was most likely used when you gave Ballora an electric shock. Sister Location Blueprints. This is a rare boot screen in FNAF Sister Location when there is a 1 in 10,000 chance of when you enter a room, you will come across blueprints of the four main fun times. These reveal the heights and weights of them and the parts of the animatronics that would lure in kids. And in Funtime Freddy's uh, blueprints, there seems to be a child in his stomach. Fright Dome. The Fright Dome was a walkthrough horror attraction in the Circus Circus in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was opened from September 30th, 2016 to October 31st, 2016. Scott announced that it wouldn't open in 2017 because of management issues and it hasn't opened ever since. Scott is self-taught. This is true because he revealed while attending the Art Institute of Houston in 1996 was where he learned how to create game graphics and he did teach himself how to make games in Click Team Fusion. Movie ripoffs. Before the actual movie's release, there were some movies very similar to, Ma to FNAF, such as the Banana Sl Split movie and others. Yendo. Yendo is a bear endoskeleton that is similarly shaped of like Funtime Freddy. He can very rarely appear in Night 3 of FNAF Sister Location, where he can, he can replace Funtime Foxy, but if you keep moving when he, when he appears, you'll still get jump scared by Funtime Foxy. He appears in Sister Location's Custom Night, where he can randomly appear in the office and drain your oxygen. And if you don't flip up your monitor quickly enough, quick enough, he will kill you. People speculate that he is the endoskeleton of a Funtime Fredbear, but this is probably false. Phantom Mangle and Happiest Day missing from the extras. This refers to in FNAF 3's extra menu, Phantom Mangle isn't in the extras menu for some reason, as instead of her, there is a close-up of Springtrap. And Happiest Day isn't in there for some reason. It is most likely because of the lore significance of Happiest Day, because they probably didn't want to spoil it, but that's still a pretty bad reason not to have it. Princess Quest. Princess Quest is a line of minigames in FNAF VR Mobile version and security breach in fnaf vr's mobile version occasionally a grid like pattern will appear on an object in the prize counter and if you zoom in you will unlock the mini game and when in the level selection area <coughs> you can click on the monitor to your right princess quest returns in, in security breach with two sequels the first one having slight model adjustments with the sequels having new mechanics and enemies the first one is found in the storage closet in the glam rock beauty salon the second one is in DJ, in DJ Music Man's basement in the Fazcade. And the third one is found in Vanny's secret hideout above Fazablast, which can only appear which can only appear after winning a game of Fazablast and getting a Faz Blaster. FNAF 3 Cupcake. This re this either refers to the fact that FNAF 3 doesn't have a cupcake animatronic, or that on cameras 2, 3, 4, and 6, you can click on the cupcakes, and after clicking all of them, you can enter the Chica's Party minigame. These cupcakes are completely black recolors of the FNAF 1 cupcake. Argumentative standards, elevation, passive, heights. In FNAF this location on night two, when hand unit glitches out, this audio is heard, but garbled. When, arg when ungarbled, he says this. Argumentative standards, elevation, passive, it is unknown what it means though. Coffee. Coffee is the protagonist 
made by Stark Cawthon's game, The Desolate Heart. He reappears in FNAF World Update 2, where he's one of the characters in FNAF World, where you can unlock him by not collecting any of the cupcakes and beating F Freddy in space. His attacks are Gift Boxes, Mega Virus, and Neon Wall 2. Mike. Mike is an unused sprite in the FNAF 2's game files, where it appears to be a skull with a tear stream coming from its eye. It's unknown why it's, it's called Mike in the files. Bon Bon in the vent. In one of the teasers of Sister Location Custom Night, you can see a Biddy Bab and Bon Bon in the air vent. In the actual game, Bon Bon doesn't actually go through the vent. It's unknown why Bon Bon is in the teaser. BB Laugh in Coco Melon. This refers to in a Coco Melon episode, the BB Laugh can sound effect can be heard from one of the characters. <laughs> this, however, isn't theft because BB's laugh is a stock stock sound effect. Camera flipping. This refers to in FNAF 1, if you get jump scared by Bonnie or Chica, you can flip the camera back up and down again to replay the jump scare. If skilled enough, you can beat the knight. Mini Rena's spell out baby. This refers to in Ballora's picture in the extras menu in F Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. You can see the Mini Rena's posing in a way that looks like they spell out baby. This is probably just a massive coincidence because for some reason one of the Mini Rena's legs stick out on the letter Y, which is kind of weird. Epic Surfing Vids. Epic Surfing Vids is known for making some of the most famous FNAF hoaxes, such as JJ's Jump Scare and Phantom Bonnie. FNAF 3 map is Anim Dude. Scott's avatar known as Anim Dude is the map of FNAF 3, but flipped upside down. This is a pretty clever easter egg from him. UCN's original roster. In the original roster of characters in UCN, which was revealed in the teasers, Adventure Endo 1 from FNAF World would be an enemy for some reason, and also Candy Cadet and the Freddles would be enemies. Trash and the gang were also separated. After the release of UCN, the Freddles were merged with Nightmare Freddy. Trash and the gang members were merged, except for Pan Stan. Candy Cadet was reduced down to a prop that would randomly activate, and Adventure Endo 1 was just gone. Enid's eyebrows. This refers to the fact that Enid's eyebrows are always inconsistent. The Enid mask in the primary control module has t has both eyebrows. In the scooping room, Enid's right eyebrow is missing. In the private room, Enid has both eyebrows. When crawling to you in the fake ending, Enid is missing his right eyebrow. Enid in the extras menu has is missing his right eyebrow. Enid's original UCN mugshot had his right eyebrow missing. In FNAF VR 1 and 2, his right eyebrow is missing in the whole game. And Enid's Funko action figure is missing both his eyebrows. Roxo 1987. Roxo 1987 is a YouTuber that you might not have heard of, but have probably heard of his work. He made the Grey Puppet jump scare hoax, Shadow Bonnie jump scare hoax, and most famously the Purple Guy animatronic hoax. Lolbit Mask. In Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, there is a 1 in 5,000 chance when entering the primary control module, Enid's mask will, re will be replaced by Lolbit's mask, a recolor of Funtime Foxy's head with orange highlights instead of pink, and has black eyes with white eye sockets, and also has purple cheeks and lipstick. Puppet in Office This probably refers to an unused image of the puppet with strings attached to it like a real marionette. This would probably be used before the puppet jump scared you. Bonnie running. In the FNAF 1 trailer, it shows Bonnie running down the hallway instead of Foxy. It's possible that either Bonnie was originally gonna run down the hallway instead of Foxy, or that Foxy was kept a secret from the trailer. FNAF 1 Foxy in FNAF 2. This refers to in one of the teasers for FNAF 2, it shows FNAF 1 Foxy instead of Withered Foxy with Mangle. This, this was probably done because Withered Foxy's design wasn't finished at the time. Cut Voices. This refers to the cut voices for Freddy and Toy Bonnie in, in UCN. Freddy was originally going to be voiced by Kellen Goth, the voice actor for Funtime Freddy and Molten Freddy. These lines were recycled and, gre and garbled for, gold, for Fredbear. Toy Bonnie was originally going to be voiced by Stephanie, Stephanie Belinda Quinn. 
the voice actor for Dee Dee. Toy Bonnie's voice lines were never used, so it's a total mystery for what his voice could have sounded like in UCN. However, both get voices in FNAF AR special delivery. Freddy's voice actor is unknown, and Toy Bonnie's voice actor is Cadet Kuhn. I'll play both voices right now so you can hear what they sound like. Round and round we go. We're going, nobody knows. I've been waiting so long for this chance, and now it's finally here. Autobiography of a Yogi. Autobiography of a Yogi is an autobiography written by Paramansa Yoganda. The reason it's on the iceberg is because when the hallucinations, hallucinations sorry, appear, an excerpt from it is heard. However, it's altered to sound more demonic. I'll play it right now so everyone knows what they sound like. Hi everyone, Editing Nardo here. Unfortunately, the last entry got cut out early for some reason, I'm not sure why. But for the sake of this, I'm going to reread this entry so that um, some of this video doesn't get cut out. Beta Nightmare Fredbear in Help Wanted Trailer. This refers to in the Help Wanted Trailer, the design of Nightmare Fredbear is, has a different color scheme similar to Nightmare Freddy, with him being brown instead of yellow. And that is the last time you'll ever hear of editing Nardo, hopefully. And that's a wrap for part three of the ultimate Five Nights at Freddy's Iceberg Explained. Hope everyone has enjoyed the series so far, and I'll be back in a couple of days for part four of this Iceberg series. And as always, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And have a great day.